And we want to follow that breaking news outside Ben Davis High School, where Metro Police are giving us an update about a report of shots fired during tonight's football game. Let's uh, listen in. 925 tonight, uh, IMPD officers were dispatched to assist uh, Wayne Township School Police with a uh, possible uh, person shot. Uh, when they arrived, they found out that there was at least one person that was shot. They had one person in custody and they initially thought the other, that the, there was another person that was injured. Turned out they were just having a panic attack. Um, so the juvenile that was shot, uh, juvenile male was shot in the, in the uh, arm. So he was transported to the hospital in stable condition. The individual was apprehended, um, was taken down to IMPD for uh, further investigation. We're actually assisting Wayne Township School Police uh, with this investigation. They're actually a police agency, uh, but we do assist them with uh, criminal investigations from time to time. Um, we're not really at this point sure what caused the, the uh, confrontation. There were some reports there were five or six uh, shots that were fired actually by the stadium. That was, it was not inside the stadium, it was just outside of one of the gates. Uh, and from what we are gathering at this point, the witnesses are saying that they did not hear any kind of uh, disagreement or fight prior to the shots being fired. So at this point, it's, it's still pretty early. Uh, we have good detectives on this. Uh, we have ev evidence technicians over there collecting evidence. It's a pretty large crime scene. Uh, not necessarily the crime scene, but we have, ev you know, we have evidence from the crime. We have uh, evidence from where the individual was apprehended with a, with a weapon. And then we have evidence from where the uh, victim actually kind of came to rest, if you want to call it that. So, uh, like I said, we're working with them, and uh, I'm sure we'll come to some conclusion at the end of this. But being juveniles, we have to make sure that their parents are present before we can even speak to them. So we're trying to round up parents uh, to help us out with the investigation. So. Both the suspect and the victim are juveniles. Yes, both, both males. Both, both sixteen years old, sixteen year old males. Yes. Are they from Ben Davis High School or were they from Carmel? Uh, that I, I can't tell you for a certain. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know that. Anything else? Uh, do we know? So just the other people that were injured were other students around or other people around witnesses when it happened? Yes, there were other people. Um, we are dealing with that just like any other crime scene that we go to. We have juveniles, especially, you know, when they're younger, they're very reluctant to, to work with the police. Uh, we have a few that are helping us. Uh, and I believe that uh, Wayne Township Schools has some sort of surveillance system at the, at the school, which will be beneficial. <clears throat> but, you know, we can, only, uh, we can only work with what people are gonna tell us. We can't make them talk to us. Uh, we've had one witness that we thought was gonna be a good witness just tell us I didn't see anything. So, I mean, we know that's not correct, but we have to, to deal with the hand that we're, or, you know, work with the hand we're dealt, and uh, we'll, we'll get to come together. Like I said, we, the, the main thing is, this was not a random act of violence. This is an isolated incident. We have the shooter in custody. We have a, we have a weapon, and, you know, we're gonna work it from here, uh, as long as the juvenile justice system uh, can process and, the, you know, decide what they're going to do. And I don't know any of the background on either one, uh, the victim or the suspect. So that's all, all that's dependent on how, if, if this person would have to get waived or not waived or try it as a juvenile or try it as an adult. So that's up to, that's a whole different part of the, the, the justice system. So can you describe what kind of gun was recovered from the suspect? I don't, I cannot. The, it was secured when I got here. Um, so I I'm sure it was a handgun. Um, so there's Metro. I'm just, I mean, I'm speculating at that. But. Shots uh, outside the Ben Davis uh, football game tonight. Again, these were fired outside the stadium. The victim shot in the arm, a 16-year-old taken to the hospital. We don't know their condition. A 16-year-old suspect with a gun taken into custody, taken down to IMPD headquarters. We'll continue to follow this story throughout the evening here on 13 News. We'll take a break right here and be right back.